My next guest stole the heart of every young man on the planet in the classic film, Summer of 42. She's one of the most successful actresses, models, and spokespersons in history. But she's also a tireless champion for pro-life causes, as well as important charities, including her horse farm that helps veterans overcome PTSD. It is quite an honor for us to welcome Jennifer O'Neill. Can I just tell you what an honor and thrill it is for me to meet you and have you here on my show. Thank oh you for gosh, being here. Oh my gosh, it's my pleasure, my pleasure. One of the first big movies you did was with the Duke himself, John Absolutely. Wayne. Absolutely, what a gentleman. He was an amazing man. I came out of acting school in uh -huh. New York. I wanted to work with Al Pacino. The Duke was more of a star than an actor to me. What a mistake I made. He was, I was 21 years old. He was delightful. It was the year he won the Academy Award for True Grit. He was a gentleman. He was on time. He helped all the young actors. You have worked with, I mean, so many people in the business. Robert Duvall, you've worked with Donald Sutherland, James Coburn. I mean, the, yes. the list is endless. Was there anybody in particular in, in the work that you have done that you just said, that guy is such a craftsman as an actor that overwhelmed you? It was actually Robert Duvall. Yeah. I, I would go to the rushes afterwards, that's something that you see the dailies afterwards, and just study this man who seemed to be doing nothing and then exploded on the screen. He was my favorite actor, and then Visconti, as a director in Italy, was my favorite director. And of course, Mulligan, Summer 42. Oh. I mean, that, that's an immortal film that people are still watching today. Oh, I've got to tell you a quick story. Love to hear it. Women over the years came, would come up to me and they would say, my husband's in love with you. <laughs> and then years later, they would say, my husband's in love with you and so is my son. <laughs> <laughs> so isn't, they keep showing but it. But isn't that wonderful to hear that kind of thing? Yeah, it's well, it, it's a classic. It was a beautiful yeah. film. Well, you have done so many things, acting, modeling, but one of the things that you love and have been a part of since you were a little girl is uh, equestrian yes, life. Yes, horses. Horses. I think I came out of the womb wanting a horse. My parents didn't get it, so I started working at 15 modeling to buy a horse. And you bought a horse with the money that you made? I did, and then God has just recycled my dreams into doing equine-assisted therapy for our veterans, first responders, and their families since uh. 2010. <laughs> We've served over 4,000 oh. at the farm. What is it about working with horses that helps these veterans and first responders cope with stress? When you have an animal uh, in a round pen and it weighs 10 times more than you, you have to be present. Mm. And you have to communicate. They're not like a dog and wag their tail and just come up to you. They check you out because they think that you're going to kill them. Huh. So what, what it does is it requires communication, relationship, and coping skills that then you can apply to your normal day uh, work or the family. We work with the whole family unit as well. You know, when I think about how many people you have helped through this process, uh, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. And, and it all started from your time as a little girl just wanting to have a horse. We in the private sector say we want to help our military. And we can more than we say we, we think we can. We must do something, and we must use all our resources to help them. Because we really do owe them and something. Then, we truly do. Well, speaking of the things that you do for other people, an issue that you're very passionate about and very outspoken about, mm -hmm. and it is unusual for people in Hollywood to have this kind of outspokenness, and that's for the sanctity of human life, the oh, belief absolutely. that every life has value and worth. I had an abortion well before I came to my faith at 38 mm -hmm. years old. I was one of the 80 percentile of uh, women, uh, young ladies, who are pressured either by family or economics or whatever. I just folded, and I was shattered by that effect. Mm. And afterwards, when I came to the Lord at 38, I had to face that issue. Mm. And I had received God's grace in all areas of my life except for that. I thought that I had allowed that abortion to happen. It was heinous and it was bigger than what Jesus Christ mm. did on the cross. 
And so I encourage women um, who have had an abortion to understand that God has grace, forgiveness, and healing, that we can become billboards for the truth, that if you've suffered an abortion, you know somebody who suffered an abortion, that there is hope and healing in that area as well. And that's a beautiful message that so many women need to hear. And how bold and courageous you are to share that story with such candor, Thank but you. also with God's grace and forgiveness, because I think that's the real story. Yes. Is that there's no such thing as a sin that is bigger than God's love and forgiveness. Absolutely. And, well, I want to say thanks to Jennifer O'Neill, who is a beautiful lady inside and out, truly. And you can follow all her projects at jenniferoneill.com, and that's O'Neill with two L's. And to learn about Hill and Glade Hope and Healing are to donate this wonderful project that she does with horses and our veterans and first responders. If you'd like to donate and help get involved or buy items to support the mission to help veterans, visit hillandglade.org.